Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to get some important love messages for you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Gemini, spirits and angels, please show me. Important love messages for Gemini today. Oh la la, ten of pentacles. This looks really beautiful. But there's two of cups in reverse. Hmm, okay. And the lovers. Wow, three of cups. Celebration. Got the fool at the bottom of the deck. So when it comes to love, Gemini, for some of you, you're taking on this new journey with somebody, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles here, it looks like <clears throat> it's a risk worth taking. Uh, again, Gemini, it could be you or the person whom you could be dealing with. Whenever I say somebody, that means, again, roles can be reversed, okay? So it could be you or your person. <laughs> Um, so Ten of Pentacles is here, so a new beginning that could lead to all the way towards all of uh, the end. This could be it, yeah, Gemini, Three of Cups actually indicates uh, marriage, celebration, uh, engagement, I definitely see you. Either some of you maybe have already met this person and if you haven't yet, there's someone in the horizon, <clears throat> okay? And this person, if uh, Five Pentacles and Reverse can indicate that this person may have been uh, poor in the past and then they may be doing better now financially and ten of pentacles sometimes could indicate marrying into money or arranged marriage could mean that that's just for some of you not all of you okay but what i'm seeing here is also for some of you five pentacles are my birth either you or your person right uh there's this energy where it's like if if it's something physical as in if it's something like monetarily it's money some of you, if uh, you could be not, if you're not doing well financially right now, you're gonna meet someone whom is gonna be very well off, and you're be gonna be, uh, you're gonna be set for life with the Ten of Pentacles here. However, it could also be the other way around. Maybe the other person, uh, either that they have been poor and then they have worked their way up and becoming rich and successful, or it could be them uh, getting married to you <laughs> okay it could go vice versa and your finances improve okay maybe maybe because three of cups here either you help them or three of cups can also indicate it's just such a beautiful union it's such a um, you know i always talk about this if you choose the wrong person uh in your life to be with you a partner it could e either bring you down or bring you up so i definitely sense this like Either this person is going to bring you up financially or you're going to bring this person up financially. But the Three of Cups also can indicate the teamwork, right? For some of you, it's like both of you make such a good team that you're going, both of you are going to achieve something together here, Ten of Pentacles. Um, it's not just about, I do see happiness here, but uh, it's not just about happiness, it's about uh, stability as well. Um, making a lot of money, financial stability, and also, you know, buying a new house or a new car or something. It's definitely a very luxurious life in, uh, in the future that both of you could be um, sharing together at Gemini. I definitely see that. Uh, if again, if you haven't met this person, maybe this person is coming, okay? And for some of you, maybe you've already met this person. We've got the Two of Cups here in reverse, the High Persistent in reverse, and uh, the Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel like you you are going to see something out, Gemini. The High Priestess here in reverse could be you seeing something like as in all these cups are and these two cups are in reverse it feels a bit like it's not just about love anymore i mean it is important to love somebody but the other things are also the other things are also very important as in can do we get along do we have the same goals in our life is this person committed <laughs> okay so there are a lot of aspects in a relationship that people should be considering other than just love you know and there's this saying chinese saying you know love can't feed you 
food, you can't pay for bills. So for some of you, it's, it's you realizing that, okay? Uh, I definitely sense that. Um, and another thing I'm seeing here, Gemini, is that there is a little bit of an issue of some of you where it could be trust issues, yeah, nine of wands here. And the thing is, uh, Gemini, I feel like again it could be you or if it could be your person right now okay if you're currently connected with someone there could be some insecurities in regards of how this maybe it's how they look that's what i'm getting here someone here again it could be you or this person could be quite insecure in regards to how they look or insecure about their body or insecure about something here okay or it or afraid that their person is gonna cheat on the other person a little bit of a low self-esteem i'm getting here okay um i don't know whether it's you or this person again it could go vice versa if you're currently connected to someone but the two of cups in reverse of course it can indicate separation the cups here in reverse can indicate separation for those of you if you're currently separated from your person I sense someone could be afraid to make the choice to come to you or to offer you commitment, okay? Because we've got the King of Pentacles I'm up first. You could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, could be a Gemini. Let's see more. Yeah, Seven of Cups here uh, indicates options, but um the queen of cups is here so there is a bit of this energy of someone wondering um when i say someone could be you or your person but something about i'm wondering if i'm actually taking <laughs> is this risk worth taking because the queen of cups is here the love is there somebody may love you or you may love this person it could be both but a bit of a worry here, Seven of Cups, I feel, because it's adjacent to the Nine of Wands. Um, but Gemini, I feel like if somebody has any doubts about you or you having doubts about anybody, the um, hangman is in welfare, so I don't see it as a problem. I definitely see someone finally is going to realize that, hey, this is the relationship worth taking and that we are going to go all the way towards the end here ten of pentacles build a life together build legacy together we've got the page pentacles here and also we've got the judgment and road first i'm also seeing for some of you it's it could be someone from your past uh wanting to apologize to you or it could be someone you're current, currently connected with but it's like an apology coming in for a bad judgment call in the past okay but this could also indicate seeking advice. I don't know why I'm getting this. Some of you, you could be seeking advice. It could be from tarot, from a friend, uh, in regards of a choice that you need to make here. Seven of Cups when it comes to love. And we've got the Three of Cups here. For some of you, you may have a lot of options, right? Mm, a lot of options in love, but I feel like you're going to choose one for sure. Um, one that is going to love you almost unconditionally. Let's see more, Gemini. I'm speaking very slowly today. I don't know why. <laughs> That's just how I feel. And we've got the world here in reverse, Ten of Wands, and also we've got the Queen of Swords in an upright position. This is definitely you, right? For those of you, maybe you do not returning to someone from your past, okay? Perhaps it's really hard to walk. It has been really hard to walk away from somebody or that ten of ones can indicate that you're carrying a lot of burden or a lot of responsibilities um, but i'm also s it feels a bit like one person is doing all the work okay this may have already happened in the past but i'm also seeing someone could be carrying a lot of guilt and wanting to apologize wanting to do something um this is somebody from your past maybe they would like to take this new leap of faith with you with a full card and the world in reverse can indicate also that maybe this person is stuck and they still haven't moved on yet but spirit is definitely saying to you know choose make head of a heart decisions if you need to make any decision in terms of love but also of course uh with the queen of cups here you still need to feel good about a certain person but yeah the ten of pentacles for some of you it's you know it could be marrying into money um thinking about the future mm. 
kind of not letting um, I feel like it has something to do with not letting your heart rule your head okay that's just for some of you uh, Gemini and also we've got the king of cups here in my first I sense someone around you could be from your past or now um, feeling really emotionally unstable right now I feel like they're kind of sad but also there's this energy of someone, Gemini, for some of you, if you're dealing with someone whom is a little bit reluctant in giving their heart to you or being committed to you fully, I feel like it has got nothing to do with you. I feel like they're just insecure or that they've been hurt before in the past. And maybe some of you, you know, maybe that past is you, but it could also be past hurt from somebody else. All right, Gemini, this is your reading. Hope it resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a video on the screen right now. This is my latest video from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel and I just posted, posted this video two days ago. I went to the Margas Beach and I tried Bacon Shark for, this, uh, for the first time. It was really delicious. I'm at Trinidad and Tobago right now. Um, check it out. It's a very fun video to watch, only 10 minutes long. And also I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs. Um, and it has different topics, different questions. And they are also still valid because they are new. Um, as you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. And Gemini, uh, I'm open for personal readings. For those of you who like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care Gemini. Bye.